Deputy President William Ruto has dismissed Qatar Secretary General Francis Satwili's claims that he, Ruto, will not be on the presidential ballot in the 2022 elections. Addressing Faithful on Sunday at the Salvation Army Citadel in Kakamega County, D.P. Ruto described Atwili's remarks as witchcraft, adding that leaders making such sentiments require prayers. In this country right now, the contest is between two groups, those who believe in God and those who believe in witchcraft. When you hear someone saying that he has been told by witch doctors that a certain person will be on ballot and the other will not. It tells you a lot about where the country is right now. But just pray for such people so that they can seek the kingdom of God first and stop these other things messing up the country, said Ruto. He was accompanied by among other leaders Kayambu Governor Ferdinand Waitatu, Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka, former Senator Boney Kalwal, who also told off Atwili. On Saturday, Atwili stated that Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho will be in the next government while D.P. Ruto will not. I assure you that after the next elections, Governor Ali Hassan Joho will be part of the next government. In 2022 we shall elect the president in an election that will be very peaceful since we shall have amended the constitution, said Atwili, who was addressing the public at a fundraiser in Lamu. He added, the name of William Samuel I. Ruto will not be there, on the ballot, you can take it to the bank, said Atwili. The Cotter Secretary General's remarks have seen him come under fire from allies of the Deputy President. Atwili you are an old man. Instead of cursing us, pay the way for young leaders so that we can compete with them. And by the way Atwili you know the history of the La Air people. A curse from where you come from cannot hold on a La Air leader like Dr. Boney Kalwal, said former Senator Boney Kalwal. Kayambu governor insisted that Ruto will become president in 2022, remarks that were echoed by Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka.